In this video, I'm going to show you how to spawn objects in a random position within a region. As you can see in this project, I have two points, point one and point two, and that's all I need to define a rectangular region. When I click, power-ups are spawned randomly within the region. To accomplish this, you need to do two things. First, getting a random position, and two, spawning the object. Let's start by talking about how to get the random position. First, I declare my two points. I just set variables to be point one and point two. Then I actually get the points in space and set point one to point one, point two to point two. In this example, points one and two are actual nodes in 3D space, and that's how I get their positions. I call randomize within the ready function as well because we want to get a random position. Every time we run the game, we want the result to be different. That's what randomize does. And finally, we just write a function for getting a random point inside. So I declare the function and call it get a random point inside. The function takes in point one and point two and returns a random point inside. First, we need to get random values for X, Y, and Z. I use random float within a range to accomplish this. I take the x value of point 0.1, the x value of point 0.2, and I get a random number in between them. And I do the same for y and z. Now I have three values, x, y, and z, that I use to create a random point inside. Next, we put all of those values together into a vector 3. So that is a random point inside the region. Once I have the random point, I use the keyword return. This will replace the function with the random point inside. So I can call the function to get the random point. Now that we have the random point, we need to spawn the object. To spawn an object, you need first a node. I created this node 3D and it's got the power up in it. Once you have the node that you want to spawn, you use an onReady variable. The onReady variable will contain what I like to think of as the blueprint. Godot needs to know what we want to spawn. So I create a resource and I use the preload function to load in the node. To get the node, I just go to my file system on the bottom left and I drag it in. Once we have the blueprint, we're ready to spawn. So I write a function called spawn power up. First, we need to build and place the power up. Using the blueprint that we created by loading in our node, we create what's called an instance. I like to think of an instance as the idea that Godot has actually built an object using the blueprint. This is not enough to see the object. We need to add the child. Add child brings the built object and places it within the scene tree where you put nodes when you're working on your projects. So it needs to be in the tree or you can't see it. That's why we use add child. Now we have a power up that is added into the tree. Then we can set the position. I created a variable called spawn location and I called my function that we use to get the random point. All that's left is to take the instance that we built and set the position to the spawn location that we got from the function. And that's all we need to create random spawning power ups within a rectangular region. Now when I click, power ups will spawn randomly inside. This project can be downloaded. A link will be in the description. And on my channel, you can find a video doing the same thing, but in two dimensions. I hope this video helped you. Let me know in the comments if there's any other tutorials you'd like to see me make. Thanks for watching.